Right, uh, mate, have you got anything to drink before we start? Uh, yeah, I've got, I think I've got something knocking around, hang on. Oh. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Ooh, legendary Ulu Dark Gazos fruit flavoured carbonated soft drink. It's so legendary, I've never even fucking heard of it. Okay, I guess I'll drink this. Don't worry, everybody. I also have. <laughs> I also have some of the time. The show house is basically what would happen if Sherlock Holmes was real, travelled through time and became an asshole American doctor. That American doctor is played by none other than Hugh Laurie, who was so convincingly American in his audition that the director of the show didn't even know he was English. <laughs> what makes this doubly hilarious is that the director of the pilot episode in the first season, Brian Singer, was adamant that Doctor House be played by an American actor. Why? Well, Singer was convinced that British actors couldn't muster up a convincing American accent. So he told his production staff, get me an American guy. And he even went as far as saying, I am not going to consider any audition takes from British actors. Because apparently when they put out the casting call for House and people heard, oh, it's a, a retelling of the Sherlock Holmes story. I might as well audition, I'm British, Sherlock Holmes is British. And he went, no, fuck it, I'm not taking any more audition takes from them. Get me an American guy. Singer was so convinced that a British actor couldn't effect a convincing American accent that he told his casting directors to ignore any audition takes from British people and instead redouble their efforts on casting a quintessentially American actor. Can I get bonus points if I act like I care? When I think quintessential American, I always think of Hugh Laurie and all the stuff he did on British TV. So I'm guessing a lot of American viewers won't know that Hugh Laurie was in a lot of shit in England. My personal favourite was being Blackadder. Obviously. And like, if you show one clip from Blackadder, it's like, you know that's an English guy. Tally ho, pip pip, and Bernard's your uncle. In English, we say good morning. <laughs> that's what I find hilarious about this. Like, if Brian Singer had just Googled fucking Hugh Laurie, he would have seen not only Hugh Laurie is a British actor known for this, this, and this. You could just type his name into YouTube and found any clip of him in anything before. <laughs> for those people who, um, might not know he's in Friends as well. Yeah, I remember there was a image going around a couple of years ago that was ten years ago. Wow, who's that actor sat next to Jennifer Aniston? Excuse me. Yeah. If you're planning on doing that throughout the entire flight, please tell me now so that I can take a sedative <laughs> or maybe slip you one. <laughs> then it's like five years after that. Wow, who's that woman sat next to House? <laughs> well, I, I think you're wrong. Oh no. <laughs> Singer, obviously he didn't know he was uh, American. Apparently, Hugh Laurie says, a lot of Americans talk to me and they hear my natural speaking voice and they don't know what to do about it because they assume like everyone else, because the American accent is so convincing. They hear his actual speaking voice and go like, uh. I think my mother still really thinks that you're an American. <laughs> yeah. Wow, wow. So if they weren't considering audition tapes from British actors, how did Hugh Laurie actually get the job? Uh, Hugh Laurie didn't know they weren't accepting audition tapes from British actors anymore. Um, he just heard that the part was going and decided to record an audition tape anyway. And what makes it really funny is that he decided like, well the character of Doctor House wouldn't really give a shit. So he recorded his audition in his hotel bathroom, wearing yesterday's clothes he picked up off the floor after having not shaved for five days. I was expecting you in my office 20 minutes ago. Really? That's odd because I had no intention of being in your office 20 minutes ago. Why was he, was he trying to make himself look rough for the part? Well, he just, his idea was like, this character he read through, like Dr. House, like, he wouldn't really care. He wouldn't wear nice clothes or record a half decent video. So he said, I'll just record it on my shitter. So he, you're saying he intentionally records it on the toilet because that's how he thought House would do it? No, he recorded it on the toilet because that was the only place in his hotel room that had adequate light. He just makes it quite funny that the place that had adequate light was the bathroom. So I think he just sat on the toilet during his audition tape. <laughs> just speaking to the camera wearing yesterday's clothes with just like five days worth of stubble on his face. All I want is for you to do your job. But as the philosopher Jagger once said, you can't always get what you want. I like to think that on the lower part of that clip, he wasn't wearing any trousers. I'd hope so, because I've done that, because I've had a lot of Skype interviews for um, writing gigs in the past, and on principle, I always did them while wearing no pants. <laughs> You've got to do it. And obviously, that's British pants, which means I wasn't wearing underwear for you Americans, because why not? Cause it's hilarious. Well, so you've been completely nothing stark bollock naked <laughs> from the waist down while wearing a, t a shirt and tie on top. <laughs> So anyway, Hugh Laurie. Yes, Hugh Laurie. So he got the part. Yes, he did. After they saw, after Brian Singer saw his tape. Yes, and the best part is Brian Singer apparently saw 
Hugh Laurie's audition tape and went to his casting director and said, look, see, this is what I wanted, an American guy. Lucky, lucky us. <laughs> lucky, lucky, luck. Luck, 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 luck. Luck, 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 luck. So what was that in aid of? What was what in aid of? The chicken impression, sir. <laughs> So just to recap, so we're all on the same glorious page here. Hugh Laurie, a British actor, filmed an audition tape on the shitter and sent it to a director who had absolutely insisted he'd never hire a British actor for the part, and he got the gig. Huh? <laughs> what do you think Bryce Singer did when he heard Hugh Laurie's speaking voice? <laughs> Can you imagine that? That was the most awkward first meeting. Ah, oh, there he is, there's Hugh Laurie, the like, quintessential American actor I've been looking for. Like, oh yes, hello, how do you do? <laughs> Young Master Braff and I, are very honoured to be presenting an award in, uh... To make things even funnier, Singer had no idea that Laurie was British. And we don't know the noise that Singer made when he first heard Laurie's actual speaking voice, but I would pay so much money to have that as my ringtone. <laughs> 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 Do you know what a great thing as well that um, Hugh Laurie did that I find absolutely hilarious? Do you know when he was playing Dr. House and he had the limp? Yeah. There was an interview where someone asked him, like, so, for a laugh, did you ever just change which leg you limped on? He went, yeah. And no one noticed. <laughs> so he just, some, some episodes, he just limps on the other leg. Because um, I think he filmed the show for that long and he faked the limp for that long. And he actually walked with a real limp for a couple of years afterwards. So he did it to try and like even it out. So obviously, he's walking around for hours and hours and hours at a time, pretending to have a limp. He hurt his leg and actually did walk with a limp. There's a lot of actors who still fly. It's like Gary Oldman, he's talked about. He had to relearn his British accent. Mm. He had to, because he did so many American movies, he had to go to a voice coach to relearn how to speak with his native British accent. I think um, Arnold Schwarzenegger did it as well. He had a voice coach, because obviously, he's lived in America for so long, why does he still speak the way he does? Yeah. Uh, apparently he hired a voice coach who helped him enunciate more clearly but also helps him keep his accent, because apparently his accent's part of his brand. So apparently he can speak, and he does speak with an American accent at home, yeah. but he says he doesn't do it with fans because they just get weirded out. <laughs> yeah, yeah. As you would if yeah. you're Arnold Schwarzenegger and he wasn't talking the way he does. So if you'd like to help support this channel financially, and you're making a TV show, why not ask me to be part of it, and I'll send you an audition tape of me sat on the toilet. <laughs> oh, also, sorry, sir. Thank you to Ula Dark for sponsoring <laughs> We don't know, I don't know who the fuck this is, but you know what? If you want to sponsor us, why not? I'll, I will gladly read out whatever fucking press release a company with the name Legendary Lugagar, Ulagdag, sends me. I'm pretty sure Gazoz means sparkling. Now, what language is it that. anyway? Is it Polish? No. Um, Turkish, I think. Uh, it's produced in Turkey, so. It's Turkish. Yeah, if you want to send me this, I will butcher the shit out of a Turkish language while reading this out.